Hi everyone, Frank Spangler here for Learning Media Skills. And um, what we want to do today is start a series of quick tips on the EDIUS video editing software. Now, I remember back in the day when EDIUS was still at version 6. I think we did a series back then, quick tips for EDIUS 6. Well, uh, the software has come a long way since those days, and uh, so I want to do this again. I know there are a lot of people out there that just want a quick answer to a um, question that they might be struggling with as they're editing, uh, maybe for the first time in EDIUS. Everything seems to be working pretty good, but there's just that one thing that they might be having a question about. And so it's helpful to just be able to search uh, YouTube or the internet and find the answer to that one question. So we're going to do that. We're going to uh, try and go through and anticipate uh, any of the issues that people might have when they're first working with EDIUS and try and answer those questions. Now, you notice that we are talking about EDIUS 10. However, most of the quick tips that we'll cover in this series will be uh, things that can be applied to also version 8 and 9 of EDIUS Pro. And uh, so don't worry if you haven't uh, upgraded to EDIUS 10 yet. Um, most everything that we'll show you in our series will also be applicable to EDIUS 8 and 9. So let's get started. The first one that I would like to do today is uh, how do I copy a sequence? Whenever I'm working on another iteration of uh, the project, I will copy the sequence and actually start another version of the project in a new sequence, a new timeline. And uh, so let's uh, see how we do that today. All right, here's a project I uh, worked on recently. The client uh, liked the project, but it was a little long. If we uh, check our duration here, we're looking at 7 minutes, 33 seconds. And they said, yeah, we can use this version, uh, but uh, for some of our outlets, especially social media, we'd like a 3-minute version of this uh, as well. And so rather than take this original sequence and just start ch chopping it up what i want to do is work on a completely new sequence but at the same time i don't want to start over again i like what i've done um, i can save a lot of time if i can just take this sequence and, and uh, chop it up so what i'm going to do is make a copy of this sequence and then work on that copy and uh, maybe what we should do for people who are new to EDIUS, just give you a quick look at how to make a new sequence to start with. To make a new sequence, you just uh, find this little symbol here at the top of your timeline window. Click on that, and it makes a new sequence. Now, one way, of course, would be to just lasso all of the media, make sure you got everything uh, selected, and do a Control c first, and then just go over to the new sequence, bring your timeline forward a little bit, and there we have uh, a, a copy of the sequence. But that's a little tedious, uh, and there are better ways to do that. A much uh, better way to do it, um, probably we could say more accurate way to do it, would be to uh, just go to the bin where you're keeping all your sequences, and I highly recommend uh, starting a bin like that. Every time I start a new project, I'll go into the root folder uh, select new folder and create a sequence bin for every new sequence that I create inside the project I'll make sure that this folder is open before I start a new sequence and that way it would automatically pop right into the sequence uh, folder that keeps all of your sequences organized into one folder but here's the, here's the best way to copy a sequence go up and find the sequence, the full version sequence, or the main sequence that you've been working on. And by the way, if you haven't created uh, a, a specific folder to organize your sequences, your sequence is going to be in one of your other folders, whatever folder was open when you pressed uh, new or create new sequence. And so it might be, if you, you have a, you know 50 folders, it might be difficult to find this. What you could do is create a new sequence folder and then just go to the sequence, you know, click on the tab of the sequence itself and just add to bin. And if your sequences folder is open, that's where it's going to pop into. So here we have it. Uh, we find it in a bin. We right click on that. We go down to duplicate sequence. Now we have a copy of the sequence. 
and we just have to double click on it and it opens that up into our timeline window and now we could go in and rename this the way that you do that is just right click on it and go to sequence settings and we'll change the last part of this just to say like the three minute version and now we can take this uh, timeline and just start uh, cutting it uh, down to a three minute version and then the client will probably call you up and say you know what like the three minute version but uh, we would like to have some 90 second versions as well or a one minute spot for public announcement and uh, so then it's just a matter of going in and uh, doing another duplicate sequence double click on it and uh, go into sequence settings to change it to a 90 second spot or a 60 second spot and start chopping that down all right so there it is how to copy a sequence in edius pro if you like these quick tips and you'd like to see more by all means subscribe and hit notifications and uh, we'll see you next time